shall we start okay um hello everyone my name is ram and uh, i'm going to talk about virtual reality and uh, how to build your own vr website quickly and very easily today so i will be covering main you know three parts mainly first one is about what is virtual reality second one is uh related to the web so how are we uh, talking about virtual reality on the web so web vr is what we are calling it and then third one is going to be the a frame which is um, a web framework for building the vr websites very quickly and easily um first of all my name is oh sorry So um my name is Ram and I am a senior web developer at Tarsism India which is uh, a spin off company of DE Show uh, a hedge fund I'm also contributing to Mozilla's open source project since last 5 years uh, I am a Mozilla tech speaker and a Mozilla representative and uh, you can ask me any questions if you have related to Mozilla and uh, its open source projects So let's get started uh, with the virtual reality so First of all if i talk about what is virtual reality uh, there are three main things here one is we are talking about something virtual means something which has been which is a computer generated um, environment or a computer simulated 3d environment second part is when we experience it we see it very seamless and we see it uh, very um, immersive and interactive experience and third part is we have to use some additional hardware to experience the virtual reality so virtual reality is a computer generated environment which we can experience with help of special headsets immersively and interactively so these are few of the examples um where you can see people are playing or they are communicating they are working with help of virtual reality so we can assume that in next uh some time when the virtual reality platform becomes very um um advanced or when it becomes matured then this will completely change the way we are communicating the way we are um playing the way we communicate the way we work everything so one thing i mentioned about uh, virtual reality was that we have to have a special kind of headset for this So there are two types of headsets available in the market today uh with help of which we experience the virtual reality. So the first part on the top is called a uh, computer uh so the first kinds of headset are the ones which we use with help of the mobile devices. So we put the mobile phone inside these uh, headsets so this is one of the examples this is a Google cardboard we put the mobile phone inside this and when we put this on we will be able to experience the virtual reality there. So this is the first type of device uh in this the tracking happens with help of all the sensors and the hardware available in the mobile now the second type of hardware or the headsets are called the tethered headsets in which there are two special things apart from the display so we do not have to use the mobile phone we can simply connect those headsets with the computer the headset will have their own display so when we put them on the display of the headset will be used apart from that the headset will also have additional controllers which will have sensors and there will be few trackers which will be tracking the location and the rotation so, so um the second kind of headsets have the display we also have the controllers in our hands so the controllers have the sensors which will locate our position and rotation and the sensors are being tracked by the trackers which we have to put statically before you know like starting the simulation so when we do the setup of these headsets we clear an area of of a small room then we put the trackers on the sides we put the headset on we have the trackers in our hands and then we we can do what we are doing with the virtual reality so the example of the devices which you see here are google cardboard then google daydream uh gear vr 
Oculus Rift, PlayStation VR, HTC Vive, these are these are the most popular ones which are being used today. So HTC Vive along with Stream are giving the like one of the best compelling experiences today. Uh, but again, these um, the market in this industry or like in this industry is uh, evolving very fast, and all the big players players are competing with each other. Uh, with, with each other, so we can expect something new. Like you know, uh, we never know how soon we can expect something new out there. Now, the content of the virtual reality today, uh, what we see is kind of like you know. Uh, there are gatekeepers, so if you are putting any app, you have to get it approved by someone. They can take it out anytime. So there are gatekeepers. Users have to install the applications to be able to, uh, you know, experience them. And they are with the closed source technologies. They are not open source. To make the web VR, sorry, to make the virtual reality more compelling and to make it more successful, we need to remove these frictions and. We need to, you know, like make it some some more open uh, platform should be there. So something similar which can help us here is web. So the web is already, uh, we know that this is open. Anyone can publish any website or anything. And then this is well connected and this is instant. Like whatever I am creating, I am uploading any website I can share with you immediately. So WebWare is virtual reality platform with the advantage of, of the web. If I talk more uh, specifically about the web VR APIs, then these are the browser APIs which brings uh, the WebGL rendering to the to to the headsets and the sensors. In simple terms, we had the 3D world available in the web uh, in the past as well, but with web VR, we are actually making it more seamless. We are also making it more easy to interact or to connect with uh, with the trackers which are there on the headset. So WebVR is supposed to uh, make the virtual reality experience faster and more seamless on the web. Um, the browser support right now is not very good. So um, you'll find uh, the WebVR working fine with the Chromium version, with the, with the nightly versions of these browsers or behind the flags. So while creating the websites, we have to uh, rely too much on the polyfills. So polyfills are the ones which, uh, polyfill is kind of like a, a layer between a browser which is not supporting web vr plus the implementation so when the browser is not supporting the web vr this particular layer will will, will make it work so uh, that that's how um, we are creating the virtual reality content today when we are creating the virtual reality content the first thing we need to do is to create a metaverse which is nothing but a stage or a uh, a scene where, where we will be doing everything. So this is a, a virtual place where everything will happen. Now to build a metaverse or to build anything uh, for that matter on the virtual reality, you need to access the web VR content which we are just now, just now talking about. But it's kind of like too hard to create the web VR experiences today because of all these things which we have to do. So if we are using the native web VR and we have to create some website, then we have to import the polyfill, set up, setting up the camera lights, and then you know uh, setting up the canvas, and then all the effects, rendering, everything. So these are all the things which we have to do if we are using the native web VR APIs. Now this is cool if you are developing something big and you know you are you you want to make uh, take a full control of the scene which you are creating. But what if I just want to do some kind of prototyping? I I, I just want to get started with it. So we have um, a solution here, uh, and the solution is WebVR, which is the framework for building the virtual reality experiences. So this framework takes care of all the boilerplate code which you have to write if you are using the native WebVR APIs. This is all you need to do when you are starting with uh, a virtual reality a reality website with help of Aframe. Uh, you just need to drop a single life for lingo, line of script script tag on the on the on your web page and then you're all set uh, 
the a frame library gives you the declarative way of using the 3js 3js is a library which have been well used by the industry uh, since quite a long time and you can find all the 3d objects there and uh, there are many things which which uh, are already making it powerful with help of a frame which is built on top of 3js you will find all the declarative ways all the custom elements which we can use here so the first custom element which we are using is a scene so a scene when you write a scene it means that you are going to write something which should be rendered in a virtual reality content now let's take an example uh, you have this hello world scene so this is a very simple scene nothing much you just have three objects there there is one plane and there is a background like uh, right now you 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 don't see much in the background this like just a plain color there if you have to create this particular thing on the a frame this is going to be very easy this is the code which will create this this experience so you just need three objects there they are very primitive things and one plane and one sky all five things which you are seeing there are available here nothing much there are no other boil, boilerplate code or or like you know this becomes uh, terribly easy when you start with a frame when it is about the primitives or the basic elements which we are talking about so here we go these are few of the uh, custom elements you just need to add the color the position the rotation the the basic things which you can you know imagine very easily while creating these things so this was one of the examples how we can create a basic virtual reality website now one of the reasons why a frame is uh, being adapted well by the developer community is that this works well with everything like you know all the frameworks now the reason is it, this is simple html there is nothing much here so while you are working with react while you are working with angular you are working with anything you can you know you can use any of the html tags and the way uh, other things work is the way a frame also works so you can use the a frame uh tags and the a frame uh seen seamlessly with help of all of these um, these tools available today now one more interesting part about uh virtual reality or uh, about a frame is that even if you are not a developer or a web developer if you are the designer if you are an architect you can also get started with this very easily because you need not to create all the objects inside a frame so what you can do is you can create your objects in the you know in your favorite uh 3d modeling tool you are using like be it maya mozika vexel or any other tools which are available today for creating the 3d models so once you create your 3d model you can add it to a page as simple as uh we are we, we are adding this this red color ball or a cylinder here so when we are coming to the implementing on the website you need not to worry about the uh, the 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 things behind them so you can simply create your model in some other tool and you can import them here um a frame uses entity component system i'll not go much deeper into this because this is uh, more of a uh, you know like developer kind of thing but i'll just give you a brief idea that if you need to create something uh, which is not primitive and if you are creating something of your own you can start with an entity so in entity component system we have an entity which doesn't have its own behavior or its own reactions or it it doesn't do anything by itself but when we add different components it starts to react it starts to behave and that's when the the whole system uh, works so you have an entity this doesn't do anything but if you add geometry let's say this is a sphere primitive like this is driven from the sphere the radius is this much this is the color this is the roughness you can add as many things as you want the position rotation and then animation or uh the pattern you want to do uh, in the movement during the animation you can add anything there so these are called the components or this is how we compose an entity and we make it work there are different examples there so this is the set of basic or the provided items by a frame so these are the set of components which are provided by a frame but a frame is a well extensible uh, framework so these are all the other things which have been built around a frame 
and uh, you know this th these are the things which have been developed by the community and you can use them so let's say i want to uh, create a rain effect like you know uh, i i just want uh, something like that uh, there are some stars and they are just raining or there are water droplets which are just raining so now if you want to create a water droplet either you can create the drop on your own by using all these primitive elements or someone from the community or let's say i created it and then i can uh you know publish this component so that others can use it so we have a a frame registry which is a curated collection of all these components so this is another cool feature which is making a frame very popular so people are creating their own components and if they think that this can be reusable by other developers they can submit it to the registry registry uh, has a curation process and then this will appear here so any component which is not a primitive or the or the component which is given by the a frame uh, you can make it on your own and then you can submit it to the registry or there are thousands of such uh, components available in the registry already so if you want to build something you can just go and check in the in the registry if this is already available so that you can use it from there um this is one of the examples how you can uh, create one 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 component and this is like you know so this is an example where we have the um the theater uh, the the tethered uh, headset and uh, when you have the controllers with you this is how you can use it and um, you you can you know um, you'll get all the uh, values from from the uh, headset and the controllers which which are available there the last thing about uh, a frame so uh, i'll so the last thing which uh, or like the another thing which is making a frame very popular is the inspector today the way um, web works is that this is available in front of you and whatever you want to do uh, or like whatever this is there on the website when you do inspect element you get it here so you can easily inspect everything which is available on the web page um and you can change the values and uh, you can see how it's working you get the exact same or even better experience when you are creating a frame scene so let's say this is a virtual reality scene so if you do uh, if you do control shift i here you will actually get into um an inspector now if you see this inspector is actually nothing but uh kind of like you know a visualization tool which is telling you what all things are available there you can click on any of these elements and you can change the values from here so if you want to see what if the ball is even bigger or if you want to see what if the ball is not kept so close and if you are putting it a little bit behind so whatever you want to do you can do it visually from here so let's say i want to change the position and see how it's working that's the way i do it now let's say i want to uh, change its scale so i can go there and i can change the scale and i can see okay this this is how it will look like so whatever i i want to do if i want to put it or i i want to change the location or anything i want to do i can do it with the help of inspector once done i can look it from all the angles which a user can look it from and then i can also save the html by clicking on the on the top right corner so this will give me the updated uh, value of the html which uh, i can uh, go back and i can use there so this is another thing which uh, which is what uh, the developers are finding very useful uh, when working with a frame you can go back to the scene and you will find you know like whatever changes you made you will be able to see them here <clears throat> so um another thing which people check when they are actually uh, going to use a new framework is the community how big and how active is the community so uh, i'll show you a couple of examples of the work done by people with help of a frame um aframe.io/blog is the place where you can go and check all the community updates every week so there is a black blog post chain called a week of aframe in which uh, the aframe team puts together all the updates from the aframe and its community if someone has done something uh, or they have created something so if you are building something with aframe 
uh, go and tweet about it with at the rate A-Frame VR and uh, the team will be looking into all those things and if uh, your project is cool, this will this might be listed in the A week of A-Frame blog post. So here are a few of the examples. Um, we So in, in context of art, we are seeing then Ape Enter is an example which was created by the Mozilla VR team. Uh, this is kind of like a tilt brush application which was developed by Google. So with the help of this application, you can create your 3D art in virtual reality. Uh, in journalism, people have seen uh, like people have done a couple of uh, things here. So this is one of the example of websites called Fear of the Sky. And uh, this website gives um, a 360 degree tour or a virtual reality uh, tour of the things, of how the things are changing in Syria uh, because of all the disturbance which is there. Uh, if we talk about, um, let's say, data visualization, the Adit is one tool which was created by uh, by a community member. And uh, you can see how uh, people can do the data visualization in 3D with help of, uh, with, with, with help of A-Frame. Um, if you talk about gaming, A Blast is a game which was created again by Mozilla VR team, um, and this uses the controllers to shoot the monsters in in front of you. Um, there are many other examples. I'll uh, provide you the link of the slides where you can uh, go and check all these links out there. In the mathematics, there is like you know uh, a calculator or anything you you want to implement. People are also using uh, people are also using virtual reality. Um, websites or like the virtual reality tools like A-Frame along with AR. So you can see an example here where uh, a person is having a mobile phone and he's uh, trying to mimic the artificial, uh, the, the AR with the, with the VR scene here. Um, there are many other examples. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, this is um, eye staging uh, real estate website, which gives you the live tour of um, a real estate like a home or, or or like a place which you want to buy or rent. Um, this is really very cool. Um, you can go and check it out by yourself. Uh, this, th this this will give you a, a complete tour of the whole house and you can move around to one place to other place in, in this example. Um, like I said, there are all kinds of implementations in different fields. So you'll find something in the education and all these things. So when uh, we talk about the community, these are a few of the examples which I was showing you. If I talk about the, the numbers, on the GitHub repository of A-Frame, there are uh, 180 plus contributors contributing to the A-Frame library. There are so many stargazers, like 6,000 plus stargazers of the uh, A-Frame GitHub repo. Uh, there are 1,000 plus members on Slack. This is pretty um, active place. You can go and post, post your questions there, or you can also post your questions on Stack Overflow. People are uh, very actively answering there. Uh, there are hundreds of featured projects on um, on a particular uh, repository, which is named as Awesome A-Frame on the on the Mozilla uh, A-Frame uh, GitHub account. So this is the place where you will find all the uh, link of all the projects which have been featured in a week of A-Frame uh, blog post chain. So that's all from my side. Um, I have few uh, demos here. So I have two demos to show you. One is uh, a very simple, like, you know, a website kind of thing. You can just imagine like how uh, a VR website could look like. And uh, then I also try to create a VR tour of of, uh, um, of our SHA field. Um, my slide deck is available on the given link. Um, there is uh, a Telegram group. Uh, there's a, a Slack uh, channel available. You can also tweet me on this uh, this Twitter ID, or you can find me on this uh, mail ID. So um, before I take questions, I'll just uh, quickly show you um, the demo. So this is uh, like you know, I, I just made it very quickly. Um, so I just took few pictures, 360 degree pictures of the of the field here from different places. And then I just connected them from one place to the other place. So let's say this is the, the entrance. And if I want to go inside, there is an arrow. If I click on the arrow, you will go to the next place. So this is where we came in. And uh, this is where you can go uh, next. And uh, you will find this place here. And similarly, like, you know, um, 
you can just go to one place to other this a very simple prototype which i created it this this there's nothing much in this um so this is one example um you can uh, have a look about this on the on the headset i have a few headsets here this is another website which uh, like not exactly website just a prototype of few of the few of the different things which can be done here so uh, one question you might have is how do we access this when we have the headset on so when we put the headset on the way we interact with the vr scene is uh, by few gestures so one of the gestures is sorry okay so one of the gestures is called uh, fusing or it's gazing so when i look at this card for 2 3 seconds i will enter into this so this is a way uh, by which i am telling uh, you know like it's kind of like a click so in vr there are different ways by which we can uh, you know give instruction that okay i want to click here so okay the audio is not working here okay so uh, this is just a, um, a hobby thing i did so um, the lyrics of a songs are coming here and then we if you want to do muting or unmuting you can do by clicking on these things you can click on the close and you can go back to the main menu um, <clears throat> we also have 360 degree uh, videos available so uh, if you want to embed a 360 degree video it's it's pretty uh, easy with a frame so when you look back in a 360 degree video you'll be able to see the things going back you can look at the right left everywhere so this is sorry Okay so um <clears throat> I was showing that there are different kind of uh, example like you know different kind of applications which we can uh, create here as sly as a fox as strong as an ox as fast as a hare as brave as a bear as free as a bird as so the lyrics are just coming from there as quiet from one as side and go to the other side as like. big as a house So I was just uh, trying the animation part, and I I created this particular thing. There is nothing much about this. Um, the the like you know you this is another example which was uh, created. Uh, this is a, a bouncing Rubik's cube out, out there. Um, there's nothing um, too much here. Okay, so these th these are all the things. So. Um, you can find all these uh, things available online you can uh, check them at home or if you want to check one of the videos or like the the demos i have a couple of headset here so yes any questions you might have thank you um if you want to um, have a look at the demo you can uh, come here and uh, check the demo i have my uh, visiting cards here and there are a few uh, Mozilla stickers available here. You can just grab them. Uh, I'll also keep them at the info desk, so you can also um, grab them from the info desk. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. So when we are on uh, on a website, if this website is a virtual reality enabled website, then uh, you will find a special sign. Um, I'll show you how. So you see this uh, little icon here. So this is a, a VR icon kind of thing. So when you click on this icon, when you are on the desktop, this will just open in a full screen. But when you are on uh, on a mobile phone, this will actually open in uh, this will split the screen into two and then you can put it. So like this is the example when I click on this one, they split the screen into two and then now I can put it in the in the headset and, and this will work fine.
So when I'm so you are basically asking how uh, is this detecting uh, where I am looking or where I want to click, right? Yeah. So um, let's say in this particular case, I I am seeing seeing one area of this uh, 360 degree picture. So but when I move the 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 mobile here and there with the help of the sensor uh, available in the um, um, in the mobile, this will uh, point at one place. Now, what to do when the click happens is uh, something which we write with the help of JavaScript. So this is uh, as uh, as as um, easy or as simple as the way we uh, create in the normal website. So we just have this uh, linking from one page to the other page. So in this particular case, which I was showing here, let's say if this is a chart tour, uh, what I'm doing is. I have a background picture and I have, uh, there are two pictures here. One is the background image and the other one is, is a small image which is shown as the arrow. So when I am clicking here, I am just checking that what is the current background image and I am actually replacing the current image with the next image available. And I am also replacing the arrow to the correct place so that uh, this will uh, look at the correct direction. So now I just change the background and uh, the, the arrow location. So. Um, that's how uh, this working. Does this answer? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when we talk about the augmented reality, uh, like what uh, the, one of the examples which which I was showing you, um, people have been trying to do something with help of a frame in augmented reality as well. But uh, AR is kind of like you know the more uh, in its baby stage yet. So uh, sorry. So uh, the the a, the augmented reality is even more in unmatured state this is not yet matured so uh, we might si f find out uh, more ways to uh, create better augmented reality content um, available but yeah today if you combine uh, the camera with the with, with the virtual reality content here uh, you can build the basic augmented reality uh, related content with the help of a frame but there is nothing much which has uh, come up yet Okay, uh, thank you very much.